Here is another liver. In this case, it's a gross cut section. And whereas in the previous livers we commented that the cut surface was lighter than usual, at least microscopically, here we have a cut section of a liver which looks browner or darker than usual. And not only is that seen in the gross uh, appearances, but if you look at the microscopic cut section as well, uh, this is not a pale, washed out, fatty liver. This liver is actually darker and redder or browner than usual. Please note that the general portal to portal architecture looks, oh, I don't know, kind of barely preserved over here. Here's a portal area, here's one, here's one. But notice there's a lot of fibrosis around this portal area, so we have some kind of damage. Also notice that when you go and zoom in, the hepatocytes themselves are darker than usual, mostly because they are loaded with this granular brown pigment, which is iron. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, why can't this be bile rather than iron? Actually, it could be, but if you did a Prussian blue stain, you would see that this uh, granular material stains very intensely blue. This is hemosiderin, the end stage of iron metabolism in the body, uh, loading most of the hepatocytes. All this granular stuff here is iron. And uh, the reason why it's doing that is because it cannot be cleared properly, perhaps uh, due to a genetic defect or a variety of genetic defects uh, seen in hemochromatosis. Normally, hemosiderin does not accumulate in the hepatocytes. It may accumulate a little bit in these Kupfer cells because they are macrophages, but they are not supposed to accumulate in the uh, hepatocytes. So I'll give you two definitions now. Hemochromatosis versus hemosiderosis. In hemosiderosis, you see an increase in iron in the liver, but not particularly in the hepatocytes themselves, predominantly in these Kupfer cells or macrophages or uh, reticuloendothelial cells. That's one definition of hemochromatosis versus hemosiderosis. Another definition is that in hemosiderosis, there's usually no functional liver disease. There's usually no cirrhosis. There's usually no significant impairment of liver function. In hemochromatosis, the end stage is usually cirrhosis, and there is usually profound liver dysfunction. So that is the difference between the two. And notice that in the portal areas, oh, let's find a good one perhaps here because you can see part of a bile duct. Notice in the portal areas you see some fibrosis. So this liver could very well be in the early stages of cirrhosis. You see a portal area here, but look how these uh, bands are of fibrous tissue and inflammatories. Cells are extending from the portal areas. Uh, most hemochromatosis uh, will eventually turn into cirrhosis. Bye-bye.